Hello guys, welcome to another Python tutorial video. Um, I'm going to show you guys some functions that might be useful to you. Um, the first ones that I'm going to show you are max and min. So the syntax for those are uh, max and then min. So, and it takes uh, two numbers, so it's going to be like two or three, one or two, and I guess I'll just show you what my program does uh, now that I've introduced you this part of my program. So, right here, we're just taking in these two spots, we're just taking some input, um, we're getting two integers from the user, uh, and now we're printing out, we're saying max, and then we're taking we're saying max int1 comma int2 um, and those are the two uh, types of numbers that you have to give it you can give it two um, I believe you can give it a float and an integer an integer uh, an integer and two floats um, but it's got to be some type of number in here so it'll basically take the maximum between two numbers um, and I'm just going to test if it'll take the maximum of three numbers I believe it will. Yeah, it will. Um, now, pretty much, uh, it'll take the maximum of any amount of numbers you'll give it. Um, it'll just go through the list and find whichever one's the biggest. Um, that's pretty simple. And then this one will go through a list of numbers or of some numbers that you're going to give it, and it'll find which one's the biggest. I mean, the smallest. Um, now down here, um, I'm showing you these math functions. So like random, we have to import something called math to use them. And we're saying, okay, math dot, and then the square, this is a square root function, sqrt. Um, the syntax for that is sqrt, and then something, so it's math dot sqrt, and then any number in the middle. That's just gonna square root whatever number you give it. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a float. Um, it doesn't matter if it's an int. Uh, it's just gonna. It's just gonna basically take the square root. Uh, that's pretty simple. And then this is math dot pow. So it's gonna be math dot pow. To and then it's gonna be two numbers. So it's gonna be like a number and a number. It doesn't need to be an integer or float or anything, it just needs to be a number. So it's just going to take this number and it's going to set it to the power of this number. So it'd just be like, um, it'd just be like if you were taking like 2 to the power of 3. Like that carrot is going to have like the little, the little number up above. 2 to the power of 3. Or if I put a 4 in the second one, it's just going to be whatever number is first to the power of the second number. Um, now I'm just going to print it out just to show you how this works. So I set up here, it's saying print and pick a number. So I'm going to pick 4. I'm going to pick another number. That's this line right here. And we're going to choose 6. And the maximum, the uh, largest number was 6. Found that by doing the max function right here, and the smallest number is 4. That's the minimum function right here. Uh, now we just did enter in a floating point number, which um, it says float1 equals, f uh, and we casted it to a float, um, and then our input. So we're going to enter in 5.1. 1. 5.1 is a good number. And it'll show me, you know, it's going to show me uh, that it rounded the number down to 5. And we're going to actually run it again. Uh, these numbers are basically just all the square roots we did here. Um, so I'm going to run the file again. I'm going to pick a number like 3, 4. And we're going to enter in a floating point number of 3.7. Now you can see it says rounding number right down here. It says rounding number and then it said 4. So it just rounds the number. Um, it rounds it up if it's a if it has 0.5 or above and it rounds the number down if it has uh, point 
whatever, like below 0.5. So now these next numbers are just showing that the square root function works. So uh, as you can see, math.square root is just taking the square root. So the square root of 4 is obviously 2. Then it shows the square root of 3, the square root of 2, the square root of 2.2. Um, and then it's saying, and then it's doing the pow function. So it's saying 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times times 2, which is uh, 4 times 2, and that is equal to 8. So, as you can see right here, it outputs 8. Um, now, that's just showing that uh, these functions work, but these next things right over here, um, you might be wondering what these are. So, this, this might not use, be useful to you at all, but um, we are basically deleting. Um, we don't, you don't need to do this at all in any of your programs. Um, there are certain situations where it's useful. Um, there have been none that I've had to use them, but maybe if you're in, I don't know, like master's degree programming level there might be, or like you're at a company and you have to do some crazy coding, you might have to do this. But um, I've never had to use it, but I just know that it deletes the variable. So now down here, if I try to do print int1, um, it won't work. It says undefined name int one because we we deleted it up here. So you're just you're just removing these. If if we have these delete functions right here, it's like if I just said okay, pretend this never existed, and pretend this you know uh, this sign right here delete int two, pretend this never existed. It doesn't exist and it's telling the rest of the code that it doesn't exist. So, I mean, I guess you could do that if you wanted to reuse it, um, but you can still reuse it if you don't do this, so I would recommend not doing this in your programs unless you have a, like, if you know how to use them. Um, I certainly don't know how to use them, so... Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, these are pretty straightforward. The next video is going to be a big one. The next video is going to be functions, and then after that, arrays, and then after that, there's going to be multi dimensional arrays. So, this is all the complicated stuff coming up next. Um, I'd say it's probably the hardest but most useful parts. Um, so, I guess thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.